just as we're about to set up. Everything is set up as you can see. And no power. It's not ESCO. It's a dodgy, dodgy, dodgy plug. Hey guys, it's a beautiful day. And we are on our way to the waterfront. It's about a, an hour drive. And yeah, we're gonna play some music for you guys. Enjoy. Hey guys, so unfortunately there is no power. Just as we're about to set up, everything is set up as you can see and no power. It's not as cool. It's a dodgy, dodgy, dodgy plug. And now they can play because they don't need power. Now we'll just move on to the next location. Hopefully there will be power. Hopefully there will be power, my doom prophets. <laughs> okay, so we are trolling mission A. <laughs> ah, thanks, man. Trolley will always be in the right direction. So this is where we will be playing. Hopefully we have power, so let's check that first.
So finally, we have power and we are going to be able to play at this beautiful place and hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so it's day two on our way to the waterfront and hopefully this time there will be power but if there's no power then we made a plan so I'm here at the VNA waterfront looks like we're gonna be able to play at Nobel Square today in just a bit showing you guys how it works and how I can play off the grid with a big, powerful system. I'm going to show you guys how to power up a powerful rig without going into a power source with just a car battery and an inverter so check this out so to power up a system like this like 1400 watts you need a car battery and an inverter this to be specific and there's not a lot of info about this Pure sine wave inverter. It's very important. Otherwise, if you just get a modified sine wave inverter, it will just make a lot of noise and you'll just waste your money. And, and you can damage your equipment. You can damage your equipment. And we've trialed and tested it before. And this is number four. This is number five, actually. Five, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, get the inverter. And then what you do, you connect it to your battery. Negative to negative, positive to positive, and you positive make sure first. you make sure the connections are tight. Like Just a tight. little safety note: uh, you have to connect the positive first, then the negative, and when you disconnect, you disconnect the negative, and then the positive. So when you get your inverter, you have to buy a certain wattage. Aside from it being pure sine wave. It needs to be a big enough wattage. So we are running an RCF, uh, RCF speaker, line array speaker with it. And this is a 1400 watt, but you have to check the RMS. So the RMS of this speaker is 700. So that's why we have the 1000 watt inverter uh, to be able to power up a 700 watt speaker and then also just a little bit extra for all the other gear yeah and that's it 